Welcome to another course in MicroStrategy Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Survey Widget. The MicroStrategy Survey Widget enables you to create a survey in a database or a third party survey creation website and display the survey in a transaction services enabled document on an iPad. On your iPad, you can view the document and submit your answers, which are then stored in the data source. The Survey Widget provides an easy way to dynamically generate and maintain surveys. If you want to modify the survey after you've created it, such as adding new questions or editing existing questions, you can update the survey data in the database, which provides information to the attributes and metrics placed on the widget's grid. The changes you make will be automatically reflected and displayed in the widget without requiring any additional configuration changes to the widget or the document. To create a survey widget document, you must have the following. A source report, which contains all of the appropriate information, such as questions, answers, and question types, to create your survey. The easiest way to do this is to create an Excel file with all your questions and answers and import them as attributes and metrics using import data. After you create a cube, you can create your source report with your newly imported objects. The survey widget will use this report to read the questions. Later on, if you want to add or edit existing survey questions, you can edit the original source Excel file and refresh the data in the cube. You will also need a transaction services report pointing to the target table. This will link your survey to right to this table. You'll also need a document which contains the source report, which will be the main data set on the document, the transactions report, which you will use when you configure the transaction for the document, and an action selector button to enable users to submit their data. Lastly, you can create a results report or document to display after the user submits the survey. This last step is optional and will not be covered in this video. Now that we know what we need to create a survey widget document, let's take a look at the different types of questions you can have in a survey. In a survey, you can have the following question types. A text field consisting of one line where you can enter text. A text area consisting of a field where you can enter multiple lines of text. A radio button where you can select one button at a time. A checkbox where you can select more than one box at a time, and so on. In addition to these types of questions, you can add layers to your questions in the following ways. You can have a group question. In a group question, you have one main question which is displayed as the header and sub-questions underneath. For example, you can display a group of text fields containing related information such as a person's age, gender, name, and so on. You can mix and match question types in a group question. You can also have question sections. In a question section, you can group permanent survey questions onto separate pages. For example, you can have demographics question on one page of your survey, food preference questions on the second page, health information on the third page, and so on. Lastly, you can have a question table. In a question table, you display answer options displayed across multiple columns. This is helpful for when you want to rate multiple items, such as different coffee bean regions, under different categories, like flavor and aroma. Now, let's focus on the simplest type of survey. Each attribute or metric that you want to use to display on the survey must be placed on the widget's grid in the dataset. For example, Let's say you have a survey containing the following questions. First and last name, email, and title as three separate text field questions. A radio button question titled, How often do you use MicroStrategy? With the options, daily, weekly, monthly, not often. A checkbox question titled, What is your favorite MicroStrategy product? With each box corresponding to a different MicroStrategy product. A star ranking question titled, on a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the highest, how would you rate your knowledge of MicroStrategy? 
a Likert scale question titled on a scale of great to epic, epic being the highest, how would you rate MicroStrategy compared to its competitors, with answers ranging from great to epic, and so on. To create the survey, the first thing you need to do is to create a source report. You can use a table made in Excel and use import data to create your source report. You can also use tables in your warehouse and use import data. Or you can use a survey in a third-party site such as surveygizmo.com or surveymonkey.com and use XQuery to connect to your survey data. For information on what you should include in your table, refer to the MicroStrategy Dashboards and Widgets Creation Guide product manual. Next, you will use import data to create the source report. I'm going to use this Excel file I already created and import it into MicroStrategy Web. In MicroStrategy Web, click the Import Data option. As I mentioned before, you can also import a table from a database or use XQuery if you have data in Survey, Gizmo, or Survey Monkey. Since I have an Excel file, I'm going to select File. After I find and select my Excel file, I click Continue. Then in the preview, I'll set the appropriate object types. From ID to answer value, all the objects should be attributes. However, you can choose whether to make current answer a metric or an attribute. If your report or document, based on the survey results, uses numeric data, make current answer a metric. However, if your results use text data, make current answer an attribute. Since my answers are text data, I'll make current answer as an attribute. I'm going to click Continue now to save my imported data as a cube. Now I can create my source report. On my report, I'll include everything except for the ID attribute. The ID attribute is simply there for referential integrity when data modeling. Make sure you add the attributes in the same order that they appear in the table. I'm going to save this report as source report, but you can name it however you'd like. I'm going to run my new report. Then, from the Tools menu, I can create a new document based off this report. As you can see, it looks like a basic grid on a document. This is because we haven't enabled the widget yet. This is the document we'll be using to display the survey questions on our iPad. Let's save this document as source document. Next, you need to create a transactions report. The process to create and configure a transactions report for the survey widget is the same to create any other transactions report. The purpose of the transactions report is to provide a location for MicroStrategy to write survey data. We'll assume you've already created this report. Now, back in our source document, either above or below the grid, we're going to add a submit button. To do this, you add an action selector button. To configure the Action Selector button, right-click the button and select Properties and Formatting. Under Properties, select Selector. The action type is automatically set to Submit, which is what we want. You can require confirmation, which asks users to confirm if they are ready to submit the changes. Under Subsequent Actions, this is where the results report or document comes in. If you select No Subsequent Action, after you click Submit, just the survey is refreshed and you will see a blank survey. If you select Refresh the current document after you click Submit, the entire document is refreshed, also resulting in a blank survey. If you select Run a new report or document, you can select a report or document so that when you click Submit in the survey, the results document will run. Most people need visible confirmation that their results went through. Check Display Message after submitting and add a helpful message such as, your survey results has been accepted, so as not to leave them hanging. Now I'm going to enable the widget in the source document. To do this, right-click the grid and select Properties and Formatting. 
Under Properties, select Widget. In the Widget dropdown, select Mobile, then Survey. Click the Widget Properties button and you're presented with some Survey Widget properties. Since our survey is simple, most of these extra properties won't help us. In the table, however, we'll need to map the survey elements to the template units, which is referring to the objects on the grid. The items on the left are what are required for a simple survey, whereas the items on the right are the objects you have on your grid. After you have mapped the appropriate objects, click OK to close the survey properties, click OK again to close properties and formatting, and save the document. At this point, you can run the document on your mobile device. This is what our document looks like on the iPad. In summary, to create a simple survey, you must create a source report based on your imported source data, create your survey widget document, create the transaction services report, configure transactions on the survey widget document, create the results report using Freeform SQL, which is optional, add the action selector button to the survey widget document, and enable the survey widget in the properties and formatting, as well as any additional widget properties. And that's a wrap for this MicroStrategy Mobile App Developer Academy course on